which is here, and we'll feed the transistors. This one is a switch transistor. We're here in the biomedical engineering lab with the NeuroBridge group, and I, I'm biomechanical engineering, working on the NeuroBridge device. The sleeve itself slides on to, to rehabilitate patients with ALS and stroke and other diseases out there today. So my, my job is to study the mechanical analysis of the arm. And basically what we're doing is taking the signal from one good muscle and sending it to a bad muscle. The good muscle being the bicep, the short head bicep, and what it is is connected at the bicep tendon and I'm supposed to calculate the torque at the bicep tendon as it connects. The device is designed to only be working at minimally 5 volts which means at minimal movements, at minimal contractions the device won't even turn on for safety issues. There's an upper and lower threshold to protect the user when they're using the NeuroBridge. Ahmed will talk more about our research. Being that I focus on the electrical aspect of our our device, what we are doing is we're using these signals to stimulate weakened muscles. Weakened mu muscles can come from either neural disorders and diseases or even muscular uh, diseases and, uh, and disorders. So for an example, somebody with ALS or a disease that originates from the spinal cord, the person will start to lose their hand peripherally at the beginning. They will start to lose their sense of touch and feeling and, their, and the effectiveness of their nerves from their fingers and go up all the way until it completely paralyzes their body. So what we are trying to do is create a device that can take signals from unaffected and and good muscles with good signals and send it to these affected and weakened muscles in order to provide a rehabilitative tool. Although there are m situations where the neural disorders are chronic and cannot be resolved or fixed, but at least it will provide a temporary solution for this extremely important movements of the hand including the hammer curl which can help a patient to pick up food or water or anything that needs to be picked up towards their face this hammer curl movement is extremely essential more and also when there are muscular problems and muscular diseases this can also provide a potentially completely rehabilitative uh, opportunity for these people while physical therapy might be costly and physical therapy might uh, only be at specific times that you can go to the office this portable de device can be for a long-term solution and more importantly in a very patient and customer friendly way and now Ennis will talk about the electrical aspects of this product we have the circuit here and this circuit will provide an FES signal which is a functional electrical stimulation signal and this signal has an 80 volts uh, and 10 milliamps which is mi minimal to, to contract the muscle. Uh, in order to achieve that the circuit will have um, to process the EMG signal and then to provide a comparison between the amplitude of the EMG signal and then the square wave pulse will be will be formed and then will be processed in an oscillator and this oscillator will provide the transformer for, for in order to have an 80 volts uh, output voltage. I'm working on the physiological part of um, our project and uh, this is our sleeve and it's made out of 100% uh, polyester material. It's insulated so the um, other electrical signals or any kind of signals won't go through. Um, in order to create a prototype of our pro product, we worked with an industrial design student um, from the School of Architecture and Design, and her name is Marianne Ibrahim, and she worked on the physical aspects of our uh, product. We have the input here. We're going to have um, the contraction from the muscle sends signals from here and it will be processed in the back where um, we'll put the little circuit and after um, the signals will be transferred to the muscles here. We are, we are the NeuroBridge group in the, the Biomedical Engineering Lab at NJIT.